Hey, Crazy Tax team, I want to congratulate you on your Amazon's Choice Badge for Pins and Tax by Crazy Tax. I know how competitive the category can be, so to see a Choice Badge is really a job well done. Now, my job is to look for potential opportunities with sellers who prioritize on Amazon. And if it's okay with you, I'd like to show you a large module, which you have for this listing, but you're not using it, and it takes up valuable real estate. In addition to a few other things I noticed, my name is Sean, and I'm an account executive with my Amazon. Amazon guy. So listen, I'll pack this full of valuable information designed to help grow sales. I'll show you the module in just a minute, but the first thing I want to review with you are your keywords. Now we utilize this tool to look at sponsored and organic keywords. We do a ton of competitive research and other things. So look in here, it shows that you don't have pay-per-click keywords on this listing. You've got 177 organic keywords. Now I know you've been, this listing has been on since 2012. And truthfully, your organics are very, very low based on that. We tend to see them in the three to 6,000 range and recommend a one to two ratio. So for everyone sponsored, you have two organic. But let's look at your keywords. I mean, you've, you've got very few, so I do want to show you how you're performing. I'd like you to notice that I sorted the keywords by the most searched. And on the far right is your organic ranking. Now, if you don't see a number, it means that these are relevant words to your product, but you're not indexing for them. So right away, I see more exposure that we could get you. Um, additionally, did you know that 90% of all clicks happen on page one? So if you're ranked 20 or higher, you're missing out on 90% of the, all of the traffic on Amazon. So I want to try and put this into context for you if we can. Let's see here. We've got thumbtack. I don't, thumbtacks for wall hangings. Look at this. You are organically ranked 240. And there are 5,213 people looking for thumb tax for wall hangings on the U.S. marketplace on Amazon this month alone. And I want to give you an idea. Look at how much revenue has been earned by sellers through the words thumb tax for wall hangings. So you've got to ask yourself, is the organic rank of 240 sufficient enough for you to get your fair share of this revenue? The answer should hands down be no. I would definitely improve and update your organic keywords. Now let's talk about competition. I took the words wall hooks from your title. I'm not doing any product comparisons. I know there's a, a dramatic difference. This one is a tacky one. Yours actually pushes in. What I want to show you, because they are a direct competitor of yours, I want to show you their advertising plans. So look at this. This is why they're selling more. So they've got 5,400, almost 5,500 sponsor keywords and the same in organic keywords. They're being very aggressive too. You can see, look at this. Command hook, they're organic or sponsored six, organic 33. Look at this one down here, wall hooks. Look how well they're doing. And it's, you know, even if we negated their advertising, right? Take off all the PPC keywords and just use their organics, they would still sell more than you because they're ranking very well. And that is multiple times more keywords than you have. So let's look at this. They have sold almost 10,000 units in the past 30 days, and you're at a fraction of that. So I would look at that, and I know you've got other listings too, which may have sold more, um, but I do feel looking at this, and I've looked at your other ASINs too as well, your keywords need to improve, and it's just going to help drive more traffic and sales to you. Now, um, I do want to look real quick and show you some things with regards to your keywords. Look at this. Your best organic rank is two, um, and that's for your own brand. And then, so look at this. Look how few keywords you have where you're on page one, right? So anything that's under 20, you're on page one, and then everything else, you're over page one. So you're close with some of them, um, but it, it definitely improve. I mean, look at this, thumb hooks. So that's several pages deep. Um, we've got a very robust SEO process here at My Amazon Guy where we could help grow your organics and improve your ranking too as well. Now, um, and please don't forget, it's the words that gets your listing above everybody else's. They're vitally important. So I'm going to go through your listing now. Um, and by the way, I did look at these images. I like how you show, you know, the different things that you can hang with it. I do recommend having at least one, if not two, 
lifestyle images with people in them. I know it looks like this might appeal to teachers or, or you know, maybe even home, school, you know, anything, organization, craft tables, things like that. Maybe seeing it in a setting with a person. Um, having your demographic does create a connection with consumers when they're on your listing. Um, having your demographic in your images. Now your title, you want to be close to 200 characters. You've got room for 60 more characters here. And Amazon looks at your title and then your bullet points for your organic keywords. So I'm curious when you updated them last. Um, I'd be surprised if it was recently because your organics are so few. Um, so our recommendation is to take the frequently searched words, right, and integrate these into your bullet points, into your title more frequently so that you can grow your organics. As a matter of fact, I want to show you, look at this, clear thumbtacks, um, push pin hooks. Let's try that. I want to see how many times push pin hooks shows on your listing. And I don't know if it shows anywhere on your listing. It's all on your competition. It's nowhere on your listing. So that's what I mean. Those relevant, highly relevant keywords, you need to integrate those into your copy. Now, let me show you that module. So if you do anything today, log into Seller Central and right above product description, right above this, you'll see a brand story. That's where you can put the Crazy Tax logo and talk about how you got your start why you do what you do, what makes you so unique and special. I went to your website. I saw your brand story. I know you've got a great story behind this. I do want to show you the brand story. This is one we put together for our founder's brand. It's called Age of Sage. And look at all these sponsored listings here. Just underneath that is from the brand. And it fills up the entire page. Look at this. It completely zeroes out the noise from your competition. This crawlable text indexes for organic traffic. Plus, you can have hyperlinks to other noteworthy products and your brand store. It's absolutely the best module that Amazon has come out with for brand registered sellers in a long time. Now, I know you've got from the manufacturer down here. It's very, very deep down um, and you've got that module. I do recommend it. Here's another thing too. If you had crawlable text like this in your manufacturer or uh, say you had A plus content, that would also help grow your organics. Um, let me just look real quick. One last thing. I got to do this. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing my job. Your alt text. Uh, I had a feeling it's empty. Your alt text is vitally important to your organics. Uh, so listen, here at my Amazon guy, we're a full service 300 person Amazon agency and we grow sales on Amazon. We manage over 300 brands, giving our clients peace of mind knowing Amazon is handled so they can focus on their business. I'd love an opportunity to chat with with you. So click that link in my email that reads book a call, snag yourself a free consultation. And once you do that, I'll email out the competitive analysis. But thanks very much for watching. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.